Hello everyone, Booba Reviews here and today I have something special for everyone. Um, looking at the items here you might have already guessed, but we're taking apart the Puma 1-1 in FGAG in Kangaroo Leather Variation. Now, the reason that this came to be is when I got these boots, I took them out for the first half of the test and the the outside stitching where the leather meets the midfoot, which is just there, I'm not sure if you can see. Um, the lighting's quite bad, but you can see that that little part started to come off. Um, and and obviously it's uh, very small, but um, as soon as I noticed it, I contacted the store that I purchased the boots from, and they requested that I cut these up, uh, send them the pictures in order to get like a refund or a trade, um, rather than sending the boots back, which would have sent me back quite a bit of money uh, because of the international shipping fees. Um, anyways, some of you guys may wonder why the bizarre request. Um, I might be wrong, but I know some brands, when they find a defect in their product, rather than sending them back to the brand, they ask the store or the retailer to just simply dispose of them uh, by cutting them up. I know this because I've had some friends that worked at um, sports retail stores. Uh, my guess is Puma, or at least Puma in that country of the shop that I bought this from, has the same policy where the store must dispose of the product. Um, also, for those of you who are worried about this, this is not a um, known defect. They confirmed it. Um, it's just a one-time thing with my boot, unfortunately. Um, so please don't let that discourage you from buying the Puma 1-1. I'm actually going to request a, a new boot uh, of the same model. Maybe not the same colorway. I would think they're out of my size. But, but yeah, I'll be reviewing these again um, just to see what they're like. Um, anyways, that's it for the backstory of this video. I thought um, if I'm going to cut it up, might as well make a video out of it. So okay, without any further ado, let's get straight into the cutting action. Right guys, so here I have the boot unlaced, so we're going to start with this boot. Um, the idea is I'm going to try to take apart the, the um, outsole from the upper along that line here. And then we're going to try to get into um, try to get the upper into three pieces, the even um, collar slash tongue, and then the the synthetic midsole slash heel area, and then finally the leather. And what I would like to also see is try to see if I can cut the leather open to expose the uh, the internal lining, these uh, these honeycomb like. Um, dots if you like or whatever they're called anyways let's get into it um obviously if you're trying this at home for safety um purposes make sure you have a pair of gloves my gloves aren't great but they'll do the job today <clears throat> anyways let's get in all right here goes nothing i'll move this out of the way quite stiff. I'll be honest, I thought that would be easier. Let's try this side. Oh, hang on. I'm going to take the inside out first. <laughs> Alright, let's take that again.
it's actually quite tough around this area, <clears throat> excuse me, where they have the, uh, the extra um, coating, because this is technically FGAG. Um, so it does get quite tough around this area. And that is the first part done. Uh, here's a look at the upper. All right. Um, something interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a extra cushioning for the heel. I've got a. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oops. I've got like a foam in there supporting. Um, really nice way as a liner. So as I said what we're going to do now is we're going to see if we can cut along the stitching of the leather just around there and then also cut the ear knit sock. Right. <clears throat> There's a look at the inside of the sole plate. Pretty cool. Right, I'm going to use the scissors for this one. So, just along there. Alright. So here's the leather. <clears throat> if I can just peel off in a layer. So there's a layer of foam right underneath the, I guess, the in, inside liner, which is very sticky. They've already stuck to each other as soon as I've taken them off. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to cut this open and see what's inside the leather. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Cut the leather there. Not sure if you can see that. I don't know what they are. Um, let's see if I can peel it off. Right, so be careful, careful. Get my knife in there and see if I can actually. Oh, here we go. So that's the leather off, and this is what gives the uh, <coughs> excuse me the the leather its uh, its structure. I I can't explain what these are, li are like. Um, um, where have I felt this before? But they I think they're plastic. Um, as you can see, they don't really have a lot of give in them when I push them in. Um, they feel like they've got like those gel filled except uh, here's a cut part so plastic covering with a bit of gel inside so it does feel a little bit like jelly yeah, but but much more tougher has has a lot more uh, structure to it than a <clears throat> the jelly um, something that you might find um, on those one of those massaging thongs where they have these things coming on the bottom of, uh, sorry, on the top of the sole where if you put them on and you step around in them, they're sort of meant to massage the bottom of your feet. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like them. Anyways, that's interesting. All right, next part, um, we're going to take the sock off and then we're going to see what's, I guess, inside the synthetic layer. All right, scissors so for these again. <clears throat> I'm going to go in from here. Uh, tongue. <clears throat> I 
Um, uh, not as stretchy as I thought they'd be um, compared to something like the even it sock on the Future 17.1 I think was a little bit more stretchy this is much more dense compared to that um, still does have a lot of give to them but not as much as what we've seen in the Future 17.1 I can't tell you what the Future 2.1 is like um, but compared to uh, 17.1 this is a much more dense uh, sort of knitted material Alright guys, so here it is, the Puma 1-1 in the cane leather variation, cut to four major pieces. You've got the kangaroo leather upper, uh, the forefoot there, the midfoot, the synthetic midfoot, the ever knit tongue, and of course the sole plate. Um, that was actually very, very interesting for me, interesting to find out what's underneath the boots, uh, what goes inside the boots. Um, I hope you found it interesting as well. If you did, please give my video a like. Uh, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on today's video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more football boot content, uh, especially if you've got wide feet or, uh, or high feet like me. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be doing things like this again unless I need to cut off another um, boots that don't fit my size. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks very much again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.